Initiating war zone simulation. Hold bases, take down bosses, and eliminate enemy Spartans to earn points. Prometheans have broken through our defenses and our bases in lockdown. Eliminate them to secure our home base. Let's support those Marines, Spartan. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Now, all of my videos recently have been doing really, really well, and I cannot thank you enough for your support. But, it is evidently clear that the videos you enjoy the most are diorama videos. And I've been putting it off a long time, everybody's been non-stop asking me for one, and today I give you part one of three of my epic Forerunner diorama video. And I can't wait to get started. Today, we're starting nice and easy with a simple question. How do we make this Phaeton gunship a little bit higher over the battlefield? We're gonna have this mammoth and a load of other things, and the Phaeton gunship only comes with a very small display stand. So we need to bulk this up a bit, have it at least levitating like a foot off the air. So we're gonna tackle that today in part one of three. Luckily for me, I've got all the supplies I need in the world. This is my transparent, translucent box, and this has everything I would ever need to levitate a vehicle with. The first challenge is the bottom of the Phaeton has a little dot here, and that's really its main support structure on its belly. It would be nicer if you could layer bricks on top of it. If you display it like this, the front of the vehicle dips forward and could snap. So we need a display here and here, pulling the whole thing together. The first piece we need is the smallest of all. This tiny stud here, if we insert this into the bottom of the Phaeton, we can insert one of these three pieces that come with most of the old blind bag AC figures. Pop that in there, and we've got the base support. We'll start by inserting two four-piece bricks into there. Now we'll think about for a minute how the bottom of this is gonna look. I'm going to use the Halo Megablocks Cauldron Clash as one of the main display pieces of this diorama. So that involves a lot of lava, so I'll have this as the very base piece. And then I want a really big support structure, so I'll use these long bricks and layer them on the bottom like this, so I can make sure that the Phaeton is balanced well. Now we're gonna think about exactly how tall this should be. I'm thinking maybe about this high off the floor. So we'll start by getting a load of these bricks and layering them. Some of these bricks from old random packs are printed with the code of the blind bag. So I always make sure that's facing inside so you don't see it. That's looking pretty good. It's also cool if you take maybe the halfway point and then you get one of these square bricks just sort of give it a little more support inside. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Push that in. I think I'm still gonna want a little more support on this base. I'll get two more of these bricks and put them either side like this. That looks pretty good. We'll take two pieces off here, pop them on the bottom, locking this in, making it a little more square. Now we got a lot more lava, so we're going to square this up even more. Along this bottom, we'll attach some of these pieces making it more square. Two along there. We'll pop this in here because we need to start getting a good idea of how we can support this front piece here. Two rods here. These are held together by one of these small connectors. This will easily insert into the top of here and this can insert into the bottom of one of these feeders. So it's at an angle. If my measurements are correct, this should slot in quite nicely. So yeah, that was, that's looking pretty good. Almost spot on. It meets this quite nicely. This is really nice because it naturally smooths out here. Pop that in there. The Phaeton is pretty well locked in place. Now we're going to add some alterations to the base. Let's pop this off for hopefully the last time. We want to now try and smooth it out as best as possible. And we also want to lock these pieces into place Ooh, that rain's coming down. And then these ones are a little nicer because they're quite rounded off, quite smooth. So we'll pop them ones in the back. Very flat lava pieces. So the lava is sort of flowing downhill towards the front of the Phaeton. Loads of these flat pieces. Then some red pieces where the lava is super hot. The final finishing touch, this piece here, and a little flame coming out of it. And that is my Promethean Phaeton gunship display stand. Very nice. This is going to be hurtling through the battlefield. 
in my Promethean diorama. This is going to get absolutely wild. We're going to have UNSC forces storming the Didex crypt. I can't wait to show you part two and three. Thank you very much for tuning in today. And the Phaeton gunship is signing off. Shh.